Hey, welcome back to my channel, Mind Splatter. Hope you're doing great. Today, the topic of our video is Dream kicked out a member from his SMP. So, without any further delay, let's get into the video. So I'm back. Of course, quite a bit has happened over the last few days, like Dream apparently doing a face reveal. Friends, recently, the new Dream's SMP has gone into some insane drama. So if you guys want to hear all about this over the next few days, I highly suggest that you guys subscribe and leave a like on this video. So recently, this guy Mana Treed was invited to the Dream SMP. Apparently, him and Dream had been friends for years. He actually blew up for a few months ago when people, for some reason, thought that it was actually Dream. He gained like hundreds of thousands of followers because people thought that Dream was going to be doing a face reveal on Mana Tree. Well, it turns out that that wasn't the case. Mana Tree was actually a person. Dream ended up inviting him to the Dream SMP. Some very serious accusations came out on Twitter. Dream then faced backlash because he made a tweet saying that people can be so gullible just believing things without proof. This then ended up with Dream receiving a lot of backlash, then deactivating his account. Apparently. Now I'm not going to be showing any of these allegations or anything just in case there is any private information. But basically, it was saying that Dream was friends with he had actually abused someone. People took Manatreet's picture, compared it with this guy. They thought it was Manatreet, but Manatreet ended up tweeting this out. I've never abused a woman. I've never been arrested. I can't believe. I can't even, I don't have anything to say. I'm so disgusted. Crazy that this is only one day of my streaming experience. Not even sure how people come up with this stuff. I'd actually followed Manatreet a few days prior before all this drama went down. He'd made a tweet saying that because of this stream, he has now been able to support himself and he didn't have to worry about paying rent or buying food. Now, all this drama happens to people saying they just can't take my word, I don't even know what to say, I'm not even being accused, a guy with the ROM name, date of birth, and location is being said to be me. Because our chins look similar and I can't even comment on anything without doxing myself. It's depressing, sorry to anyone that's been put through stress, I would obviously never hit a woman. I'm just dumbfounded about this whole situation, it's very frustrating. My heart goes out to anyone that needs it now after this statement, you would expect things to settle down, I mean, he addressed it. Something similar happened with Bad Boy Halo a few months ago. Someone had come out and made false allegations against him. Bad Boy Halo responded saying that he was basically going to sue this person if they continued with these allegations. Most people ended up siding with Bad Boy Halo in that situation because, obviously, the guy was innocent. But it seems like that was completely different for Manatreet. He was receiving a lot of backlash, a lot of hate from Dream SMP for things that he never had even done. He ended up deactivating his Twitter account, deleting all the social medias. Leaving the internet to make it even worse, the person that had actually been abused came out saying that this wasn't she and she didn't want any of this to be displayed on the internet. That's when Dream ended up releasing a statement responding to this entire thing, I'm not aware. Never have I been aware of any form of violence against women from anybody that I know, whether it's friends or creators or otherwise. I would never support anything like that whatsoever or associate myself with anyone that has committed domestic violence or abuse of any kind. Because 99 of this accusation hinges on supposed docs information, mostly of me. My family, even though it's about someone else, it makes it really hard for me to navigate replying to anything. This is something that's been massively abused by trolls to try to publicize my personal information. That of my family's by insinuating it's the only way to understand. What's going on? And of course they know this. They've exploited that I will not under any circumstance divulge personal information of myself. Or any other creator even if it's proposed as something that would be useful in some way. This is something like police or something obviously as for myself, I really don't like to get into my personal life. But I have been a victim of domestic violence on multiple different occasions, unfortunately even legally. I definitely have trauma myself when it comes to my own experiences. I don't ever like talking about them because it's very personal. I feel like I'm never taken seriously when I do because I'm a guy I unfollowed some people talking about it yesterday. Because I was panicking and I'm having a bit of a breakdown from seeing all the talk about domestic violence on my timeline. I want to express remorse for anyone that has experienced domestic violence. I had to see the recent speculation unfold domestic violence is horrible. 
and disgusting. Either way, due to how complicated the situation is to approach due to the circumstances, I decided to just remove Mana Tread from the SMP. He let me know that he will not be continuing content creation due to his anxiety. Inability to healthily end the stress, his words not mine, that is all I'll be saying about the situation. Because there's really nothing else I can say without perpetuating and supporting doctors and trolls. I think that's all that needs to be said. That's all for now. Hope you liked it and don't forget to like and share the video and do subscribe to our channel. See you all soon. Thank you.